Hey there guys, how are you all doing? This is your Vibro from Tech Week team once again. And so today in this video, we're going to be talking about the Phoenix OS Spectre. So it is another mod of Phoenix OS. Until now, I haven't found any Phoenix OS mod that had that looks so much beautiful as that of Phoenix OS Spectre. As you can see that the icons that here are look pretty dope and looks really good. You know, there is a materialist materialistic uh, theme right going on and just looks really dope. Even the icons at the bottom looks good. The settings icon, the CD file manager and all, all the stuffs. Uh, out here, the control panel, it just looks pretty much the same. Now let's go ahead and check out the stuff that comes pre-installed in this version of Phoenix uh, iOS. So you just get the CD file manager, the game helper settings, gallery, recorder, security, FX, a Puffin, you get the default uh, web browser as Puffin, which is quite good. You know, it's an open source project and also it's uh, without ads. So there is an ad blocker built in. So that's pretty great. Uh, FX file manager, um, EV performance tweaker is there. Uh, L speed is there. Super SU is there uh, as the root manager. Play Store is there and you, you don't see Google Play Store, Google Chrome around here really sorry about that and also you can see that these are the applications that i just installed it over into here and talking about uh the let me go to the settings and go to about tablet so this is how what it looks like it's quite the same go to about tablet and you can see uh specter version specter edition 2.0 and version is based on 7.1.1 security patch is at march 5th 2020 which i don't think is true which is also not really important. The kernel version is 4.14.15 and OpenGL version, uh, the Mesa is 17.1.0, and build number is what you can see right there. So that's really, um, that's pretty much it uh, in the about tablet. So let me go ahead. Uh, if you're interested in downloading this thing up, I will be posting the uh, Discord server uh, in the description so you can just go ahead uh, open up the discord there will, there will be the service link along with uh, that I will be giving you the uh, forums link as well so you can go out there directly and just download it up for yourself and for here you can see even the mouse cursor is a bit different it just looks like the Tencent gaming buddy or the game loop um emulator that what that is used for like playing games so up the icon hai mouse cursor ka you change okay and it looks really dope you know and uh, you just scroll up you can just see the phoenix specter edition 1.0 is check out the given review so just click on it and it will be op opening up into your web browser intro which you can just go ahead and download this awesome mod you can just see that ghost official prime os mod uh, they also make prime os the uh main developer with specter is a great friend of mine you know he uh we just had a lot of conversation between each other and i'm really much happy uh to showcase this in uh, front of you as you can see i am there v bro that's pretty much me so you can just go ahead. This is um, the Discord one and I am online. So it is shown right there. And you can just take a look at the change logs here. So it's modded with the Phoenix version 3.0.8. So which means that you won't be getting any ads. And um, kernel version is 4.14.15 is default. And 4.19.7 is passive and can be triggered by the kernel file. And uh, stock Mesa 17.1.0 is used, Super SU is used instead of Magisk, and system level optimization is done. L speed and performance trigger are pre installed, like I said. Some users require uninstallable apps added to Puffin browser, so that's great. New SOS shell is there. There is a new um, integration uh, script integrator uh which is known as sos so i didn't check it out uh yet but it's it just really is helpful for like um if a kernel is giving you problems your performance is not good you can just go ahead and use that sos um update script integrator to just change up your kernel 
as well as the Mazer driver. So that's really amazing. So PUBG can be backed up and restored by SOS. So that's really amazing, the SOS file, um, the SOS script. Uh, extreme mode can enable extreme preset for PUBG. So that's pretty great. Like I'll be showing you just in a moment. And I'm really sorry about my background. My weather is really bad right here. There's thunderstorm coming. So fingers crossed for that. And um, it comes with CZ file manager can be enabled or disabled with SOS and minor appearance changes. As you can see, PUBG anti-band precautions are made. All right, that's really amazing. And uh, proper guide, PFX as he added and Mesa kernels can be downloaded from the link in the description. So that's pretty much it. You know, these are the credits. I can just take a look at the people who are doing it. And there is a download link. So just click on it and just download this file up. So that's pretty amazing. Um, you can just go ahead and download the file size is nothing more than a 500 megabyte. So it's around like 495 megabytes. So it's amazing to see. It's a really great for light and uh, users as well. So um, let me just close this thing up. Let me go here and go to main storage and go to documents. Um, it say that there is some what um, I don't see it. The developer did say me, Spectre, he did say me that there is a uh, file or something. Let me just go ahead and this is it. Uh, decompress it over here as well. Um, where is it? Uh, okay, here it is. So you can see SOS text. Um, all right, just once. Let me see. This shell made by, okay, Narendra and Scripter added by Spectre. Narendra and Daksh to open. SOS, press Alt F1 and type SOS, then hit enter. And there are many features. Okay, so those are the features which I won't be able to show because it will go to terminal and the recording application will get crashed. I'm really sorry about that, but mm, if it's possible, I would uh, try to give it uh, in a separate video. But for now, um, that's pretty much it. And uh, yeah, guys, if you are interested in downloading uh, it and the installation video, uh, you wanted the installation video, it will be there in the description. Uh, one of my another YouTube friend, even he made the installation video for it. And uh, if you want, if you want me to make an installation video, I would just say installation video is just same as VIP console that I just made a few months back. And also for the ROC, just, just copy and replace. Uh, the data.img system, not data.img, system.img, the kernel file, and those five files that I showed you use exe to sd to like assign the letters to the FAT32, stuff like that. And yeah, in that way, you can just install it. It's pretty much the same. So if you have a legacy BIOS, don't worry. Link will be there in the descriptions. So go ahead and you can just um, use it up for yourself as well. And if I go here and run PUBG Mobile right there in front of you. So PUBG Mobile uh, runs pretty great in here. And also if there is a new bug. If you see in PUBG Mobile that there are some times that the game usually crashes over and over when you are in the match or whenever you are playing the game, the game just freezes and nothing happens. And for this version, I have seen that very less number of time in my previous VIP console and other versions of Phoenix. I used to get like four times or five times even like the game crashes over and over again. But in this, the crashing is really slow and I'm just really enjoying about it. And you can see that the game is running in 60 frames per second. If I go to graphics, you can see smooth and extreme preset. I'm really sorry about the background. It's starting to rain and my room is not soundproof. So please bear with me. So this is the kind of settings that you're going to get. And if you go to high, so go to HDR, you're going to get ultra. And for HD, you're going to get ultra balanced, ultra smooth, you're going to get extreme. So that's uh, really great. You know, we can play the game without any bugs and whatsoever. And the game helper thing uh, right there is here. It's the octopus game helper. So it just works really, really great. And that's pretty much it, guys. If you got any queries, you can go ahead in the description. Oh, in the comment box, just let me know. You can also follow me on Instagram as well. I'm there in Discord as well. So the noise is there. The rain is increasing. So I'm just 
closing of the video that's pretty much it guys hope you guys really enjoyed it thank you have a great day and god bless you all bye and take care